My name is Mario Bezumik. I'm working at AC Company. And today I will introduce you, show you, and a little bit explain how works direct system and how works our uh, Stack 400 DPI controller. Or maybe not because the microphone does work. No. <laughs> Dakle, pozdrav svima, moj kolijek ovdje iz kompanije AC Stag, njegovo ime je Marek Bezubik, gdje on će nam danas predstaviti kontrole za motore sa direktnim izgravanjem, dakle 400 DPI. Nije to se nešto. Okay, I would like to ask you, uh, do you have any experience with direct system? Maybe somebody from you compared to the car with direct system? Dakle, pitanje za sve, uh, da li imate iskustva ko je do sada radio dakle, gradnju plina na motore sa direktnim upizgavanjem? Only? Three, four, five? Čitava Bosna i još, po, još ponekle. <laughs> okay, a couple of person now did it. And uh, which uh, installation? AC, Lovato, BRC, or different one? Dakle, koji ste sistemi radali AC ili neki drugi brendove? AC. 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 Okay. That's good. That's very good. I hope this short training will be very useful for you and you will get some information about that, about this system. Okay, and the first of all, I would like to show you some small difference uh, between the port and direct system. I suppose you know that, but we'll repeat it one more time to save this knowledge in your head. Dakle, uh, nadam se da ćemo ova kratka prezentacija veoma pomoći vašem budućem poslu. Za početak ćemo uh, predstaviti osnovne razlike između motora sa direktnim uvrzgavanjem i motora sa klasičnim sekventnim uvrzgavanjem benzina. The main biggest three difference in this system is that uh, the first one is the pressure. Standard car, standard system works, sport system with pressure 4 or 7 bars, between 4, 7, 3.5, 7 bars more or less. Direct system works between 20 to 350 bars, it's a lot. The second one is the power supply, like you see. Power supply, the uh, petrol uh, injector are controlled but 100 volts, even 100 volts and 20 amperes need a lot of power. Standard system works with standard 12 volts. And place of fitting of injector, you know, direct has in the combustion chamber, indirect has in the manifold suction. Dakle, osnovne razlike uh, motora sa direktnim obrizgavanjem u odnosu na standardne klasične motore su Prvo, u pritisku, samo u radnom pritisku benzina, dakle, kod direktnih sistema je to od 20 do 350 pari, kod klasičnih sistema je pritisak benzina bio od 4 do 7 pari. Napon napajanja benzinskih injektora kod standardnih sistema je 12 volti, kod direktnog prizgavanja to ide čak i do 100 volti. I naravno, sam položaj injektora, dakle, kod klasičnih motora je to u usisu, kod direktnih motora, zato se zove ili direktnih, je direktno u komori za sagorijevanje. Ok, and when engine with direct system works and you want to check something, especially on the petrol injectors, don't touch the wires without isolation by your finger or mouth, don't remove isolation, because, you know, we have 100 volts, 100 volts can find you. Veoma bitna stvar, dakle, dok vozlo radi, nemojte goli rukama dirati neizolirane žice prema benzinskim injektorima, nemojte zubima skidati izolaciju, jer napon 100 volti vas može ubristiti. Ok. Mixture, how this system works, the direct system, very many of the times, or major times, work with extra injection. Per, per one revolution, one cycle of work of the engine, we have two, sometimes three, even four injection of gasoline. And our system need to uh, 
know when to inject LPG because with the main dose of gasoline we can inject LPG because then our valves are closed. Dakle, kako sam motor, motor sa direktnim uzgajanjem radi, u toku jednog radnog ciklusa imamo dva, nekada tri, čak i četiri, četiri ciklusa u izgajavanju benzina. E, naš sistem mora da se računa tačno kada da uvizga, da uvizga plin, jer ukoliko ga uvizgamo u istom trenutku kad se uvizga benzin, pustni u tir su zatvorni, imat ćemo problem. Ok. And like you see here, we see extra injection. <coughs> Sometimes this extra injection we start during driving LPG, but the future in a couple of minutes I will explain you how to adjust the uh, engine when it has extra injection and how to solve the problem with some uh, shaking vibration of engine during the acceleration. <coughs> Ekstra obrizgavanje ćemo kasnije objasniti kako, kako da ga prepoznamo i kako da riješimo probleme vezane za ekstra obrizgavanje. Okay. How many companies has cars, cars, engines with direct system? As you know, now in the new world, in the future, all of them will be have direct system, a lot of cars has the direct system. On the beginning was only Volkswagen Group, Audi, Seat, uh, Skoda, after that came Hyundai, Mazda, Ford, a lot, a lot of cars, and it's the future. Direct system, unfortunately, is the future. And you must to start to convert the engines with direct system because you can't escape from that. It will be the future. Dakle, koji prozvođači vozila imaju motore sa direktnim uzgajanjem. U početku je to bila Volkswagen i grupacija, ali sada manje više kao što svi znamo, autoindustrija je u tom smjeru da su svi, svi prozvođači imaju motore. Nažalost, po naš posao je, to, je, to je budućnost motora i moramo, moramo biti spremni da ugrađujemo plin na takve motore. Like you saw, we have a lot of, we have a lot of cars, brands with direct system and a lot of them we support. Of course, not all engines, because we didn't check all of the engines, but a lot of engines, the, mo the most common engine, the most popular engine, are supported by AC stack 400 DPI, and you can convert it. Dakle, uh, AC stack and system 400 DPI podržavaju većinu uh, učestalih, najčešćih motora koji, koji imaju na tržištu, što možete vidjeti na listi podržani motora, dakle nisu imali mogućnost da nabave svaki da razviju, da, da, da uradi svaki motor, ali većina, većina motora je podržana. Ok, we have standard direct system with projector in combustion chamber and we have combinated system with port injector and direct injector. Port injector and direct injector, this combinated system is uh, used in the Lexus, Subaru, uh, some Volkswagen engine, but this uh, technology is a little bit different, like in Japanese car. And both injector works together in the same time, but with different dose. And maybe you know why they use this system, why they created this type of system. Dakle, uh, postoje sistemi koji imaju i direktni i indirektni injektor, dakle po cilindru, i oba ova injektora rade u isto vrijeme samo sa različnim dozama. Da li je, da li je to su većinom japanska vozila i neki Volkswagen motor? Da li je nekom je poznato zbog čega je, zbog čega je uvedena ova tehnologija da imamo i direktni i indirektni injektor? Tako je zbog, zbog naslaga karbona ili karbona. Engine only with direct system and especially this engine where works a very um, a lot of work each year system with recirculation span is very dirty. Like you said, in the manifold sections a lot of carbon, and they decide a lot of uh, brands now decide maybe not a lot but they start to decide to put the port injector just for cleaning the valves because on the valves are become a lot of dust during the driving. Old, uh, let's say, uh, Volkswagen engine has five injectors for port and one, uh, sorry, for direct and one port injector just to clean the manifold suction inside and valves. 
and the 4S engine Toyota from the beginning, let's say, has eight injectors. Four direct, four port. New Lexus has the same, and this is the future. Now we have the car with eight injectors, Lexus, and we prepare installation for that. Dakle, zbog čega je, zbog čega su se fabriki proizvođači motora odlučili na ovaj korak da ubaci jedan injektor na usisu, dakle, zbog samog čišćenja, zbog procesa čišćenja karbonskih naslaga sa ventila. To je neminovna budućnost, ja se sta gradi na razvoju, na razvoju sistema koji će podržati i takve motore. And now, how many controllers do we have for direct system? Generally, you see four controllers here, but the first one, the uh, Stark 400 TPI Model A1, is not produced uh, anymore because the old controller it was the first hour controller for direct system, and instead this controller we can use B2 controller. It's the new model controller which supports much more cars, and we can convert engines direct with direct system with three cylinders. Dakle, postoji više, više verzija često DP računara. Prvi model A1 koji se više ne proizvodi i apsolutno ga može ga zamijeti često DP B2 model sa kojim su napravili mnoga poboljšanja, podržavano je dosta više vozila, dosta više motora i također podržavani su motori sa tri cilindra za tim sistemom. And you can set that instead that A1 you can put B2 control, so it is the same. Kablaža i povezivanje je potpuno identična i umjesto A1 modela možemo ga izvoditi i postaviti B2 računar bez problemu. And like you see we have stack 406 DPI and stack 406 DPI we have two different controllers. Standard one you see here. The extra controller is stack 406 Ecotec and this controller was prepared only for the Ecotec engines big engine from United States, 4.3, 5.3, 6.2 liter. So, the machine for 6 cylinders, there are two standards, the DP-406 and the machine that is developed only for Ecotec motors, for the American market, so big motors, such as Ecotec 4.3, 5.3, 6.2, etc. Small American block. Yes. Okay, and the last one is Stack 408. This is a standard version, eight for Volkswagen Rubier engine and this type of engine. But we have two special controllers, of course, two Stack Ecotec eight, eight cylinder. It's mean for this engine 5.3, 6.2 because this one has eight cylinder, and for Infiniti Stack 408 and an eight. Dakle, postoji izvedba za osam cilindara standardna i također dvije specijalni za Infiniti osam cilindara i za ekstra tog motore sa osam cilindara. Ok, before conversion, what you should to know, how do you feel? Dakle, šta je najbitnije da znamo prije same ugradnje? Po vama, šta mislim? Kod motor. Kod motor. Okay, you know that you need to know that this engine is supported by our controller or no, and where to find the engine code. Here you see we have the boot area, the sticker with information about the engine code. It's the standard place where you can find in Volkswagen Group engine when where is this sticker. If car wasn't damaged in the back side, the sticker should be there. Dakle, ovdje imamo primjer kod Volkswagen grupacije, uglavnom standardno mjesto gdje možemo naći naljepnicu sa kornom oznakom motora, naravno koliko vozno nije pretrpilo veću štetu koja je ova naljepnica uništena. In some car you can find the engine code on a valve cover on the engine, just on the top of the engine, on the side, sorry, on the side cover, valve cover on the engine. Engine code. In some cars, you can find this information about the engine code directly on the cylinder head. Dakle, na neki na neki vozovi mi možemo pronaći kod oznaka motora na pokopcu ventila ili čak na neki vozovi mi na samoj glavi motora. Okay, so we know in our engine code we have some 
standard ancient code and you want to check that is uh, that we can convert it, that we support, that AC support this ancient code. You should have opened this. Dakle, tako da provjerimo da li je neki kod, da li je neki kod motora podržan, da li taj motor podržan. Treba da otvorimo ac.com stranicu, otvoramo stack service zonu, polje često gdje je prikodna lista, tu imamo listu svih podržavnih motora i pretraživač u koji možemo unijeti kod motora koji imamo da provjerimo da se može raditi. Ok, it was the first way, but if you have some problem with access to the internet connection or your PC doesn't work with internet, you can check it, the engine code that is supported directly in the software, in the AC software. Dakle, ukoliko imamo situaciju da ne imamo trenutno pristup internetu, u samom software u AC stage imamo imamo popis i dokumentaciju svih podržavnih motora. Dakle, otvaramo help dokumentaciju, folder stack 400 dpi, odaberemo željeni jezik i tu imamo popis i upustav za sve pojedinačne motore koji su podržavni. Til now supposed to everything is easy. Do sad je sve bilo lako. Correct. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> and now, if you have the car and you didn't find the engine code on the list, how do you think? It's possible to convert or not? Ukoliko imamo vozlo koje nema, nije podržano na zvaničnoj list, šta mi si, da li možemo raditi ili ne? Ne. Može, ali sa osnovnom verzijom. Yes. Guys, you can try, but you should to follow some instruction. Here you have information that that we support engine Volkswagen Group four cylinder with engine higher than bigger than 1.6 liter till year 2011. But we can support a lot of more cars. But you should follow the same instruction, and now I will explain you how to do it. Dakle, universal code. Podržava sve Volkswagen, sve motore Volkswagen grupacije od četiri cilindra do 2011. godine, dakle koji imaju koji kažu već od jedan šest. Naravno, podržavamo još dosta drugih motora, a sad ćemo pokazati kako kako da provjerimo da li da li možemo raditi. Okay, so we have some car. Car, let's say X, and you want to try convert it. And what you should to do before that, if the car is not exist on the list, the first of all you should to use the multimeter and check something. But what check? Dakle, prije svega, ako imamo vozilo koje nemamo na listi, nemamo pusto za njega prije, prvi korak je da provjerimo da treba na multimeter da provjerimo nešto. Šta da provjerimo? You should to use your brain. You have the head, think, think, and think. And about this multimeter on the previous screen, it was the job. By using multimeter, you can't you can't check the engine, uh, check the signal. Dakle, trebamo koristiti mozak prije svega, jel? Koristijeći multimeter ne možemo provjeriti signale bez iskih motora, što nam je jako bitno. You want to convert a modern car, you need the modern tool. And this tool is the oscilloscope. The cheapest oscilloscope, the price is around 100 bucks, let's say. Two channel oscilloscope, which is enough. And for obscure the signal from the petrol injectors, you can use only oscilloscope. By using multimeter, forget, you can't check the signal. How do you use the signal? And for the all new modern car, you have a lot of digital sensors. And you need the oscilloscope to, uh, which help you to find the signals. That if somebody doesn't have oscilloscope, it's take time to buy and get the knowledge how to use this. It's not so complicated. Dakle, isključivo da bi, da bi provjerili signale na modernim vozilima gdje sve više digitalni signala, digitalni senzora, moramo koristiti oscilloscope. Dakle, krajnje vrijeme ko nema i ko nije naučio koristiti da ga nabavi i da da nauči da koristi oscilloskop, 
najjeftiniji sa dva kanala, što je dovoljno za naš posao, košta od stotinjeg dolara. Any question till now? Pitanja. Pitanja. No? Ok, guys, please wake up now, because we start the play. This system is quite clever and quite stupid, and we need to follow the some rules. The direct system is petrol are controlled but power supply up to 100 volts. In the car we have the battery which has only 12 volts. To get this high voltage we need a power converter. A power converter works in pair, on injectors in pair. Dakle, sada postaje zanimljivo, jel trebamo se probuditi. Napon napajanja, kao što smo već ranije rekli, za benzinske injektore kod ovih motora ide i do 100 volti. U autu imamo akumulator koji ima 12 volti. Dakle, da bi dobili ovaj usoki napon, potreba nam je konvertor, nju bi invertor snage, jel, invertor napona. I svi ti pojačivači, invertori, radi u parovima. Dakle, napajanje injektora je u parovima. And now, when you have the port system, and when you make the emulation of petrol injectors, you could do it like you want. The first injector connect on the left side, on the right side, on the middle. Just connect, make emulation and connect in the same order to the LPG injectors. Unfortunately, when you have the direct system, it is impossible. We need, we must connect with some restrict. Dakle, kod klasičnih motora sa sekventnim uvrzgavanjem, nebitno je koji vredno radimo emulaciju, ali tako možemo bitno je samo da ispoštujemo redosti emulacije, da tako povežemo plinski njegov, jer to će raditi. Kod ovih motora imamo malo stražija pravila i ne možemo raditi baš tako. Please look here. The control signal for each cylinder is separate. And we cut this control signal. But the power supply is connected together, work in pair, and our controller, stack controller, is prepared. When we have four cylinder, stack knows that the first injector must work with four injector and the second injector with injector number three. Dakle, kao što vidimo na ovoj šijemi, signalna žica za svaki injektor je odvojena. Međutim, napajanje ide u parovima. Stack controller zna kad su četiri cilindra u pitanju, da je drugi par prvi sa četvrtim injektorom, drugi sa trećim. And why? Because when petrol controller send the signal to inject fuel on the first cylinder, on the fourth cylinder came trash signal, incorrect signal, and reverse. When the petrol controller won't inject the petrol on the cylinder number four, On the first cylinder we can incorrect signal, trash. Dakle, zašto je ovo bitno? Kada benzinski računar želi da otvori prvi benzinski injektor, u isto vrijeme na četvrtom injektoru će se pojaviti lažni signal. Dakle, i obratno, kada otvaramo četvrti injektor, na prvom injektoru će se pojaviti neki lažni signal. Any question regarding that? If you don't have uh, questions, I will give you answer. Do not make mistake with connection. Because if somebody will be very clever and think, mm, I will connect the first channel, emulation channel on the cylinder number two, and the second channel on cylinder number three, and the third and fourth like should be, the system not will be working. Because the system will see signal correct on cylinder number X, but on cylinder number Y it will be incorrect signal. Dakle, zašto je ovo bitno? Ukoliko se neko je napravi pametna, pa kaže spojit ću prvi kanal emulacije na drugi injektor, drugi na treći, treći i četiri spojit kako treba. Signal će prepoznati pravi signal, neće, sistem će prepoznati pravi signal, ali neće vidjeti onaj lažni signal koji bi trebao da ignoriš je i neće, auto neće raditi pravilno. Zvijem se, jer su signali isti, a moment različit ili su različiti signali? Različiti su signali, ali isti moment. So, came guy from Poland and talking about the signal, incorrect, trash and something, yeah? 
I said that came guy from Poland, me, and tell you about the, some signals, some mistakes, some connection, pair, something like that. Guy, take your mind and think. This is information is if you want to convert some extra card, if you want to check something. If you follow, if you have standard cut and standard instruction, just the follow instruction and it will be work. Dakle, da je bilo zavodno, neki od došao je tip iz poljskije priča o nekim signalima, lažnim signalima, parovima. Dakle, ovo nam je bitno samo ukoliko želimo da ugradimo plina vozlo koje nema na standardnoj listi za koje nema pustvo. Ako radimo motor koji je podržan, koji ima na listi, imamo pustvo, ispoštajemo pustvo, ovo sve možemo zanimati. And now it will challenge of the day, I suppose, yes, it will be the challenge of the day. Here we see the signal from the injector, but tell me, this is correct signal, incorrect signal, it's a compulse signal, plus signal, what it is? Dakle, pitanje dana, ovdje imamo, imamo neki signal sa benzinskom nitra, da li je ovo pravilan signal, nepravilan signal, napojni signal, šta mislite vi? No, incorrect. Completely incorrect is the plus. If you cut four wires with the plus signal, system will start to work, but will be worked incorrectly, because not will be cut correct dose of the fuel. You must know, if you see this type of signal, it means it's not correct signal. Dakle, ovo je nepravilan signal. Dakle, na, na žici na kojoj imamo ovaj signal, ne dođemo. Ovo je signal koji se pojavlje na napojnoj žici. Ukoliko se desi greška, da isjećemo napojne žice i povežemo, auto će raditi, sistem će prepoznat neki signal raće, ali neće raditi pravilno, imat će preveliku potrošnju bez njega. Next one. Sljedeći signal. And this one. Is correct or not? How do you think? Šta misliš, da li je ovo pravila ili nepravila signal? Imajte sa stranom u uzu. Green or blue signal? What? Yes, green or blue. What do you mean green? Isti je, to je malo, malo vara, to je jedan signal. Okay, this signal, which we saw here, is correct signal. On the control wire, always, always you have two signals. Correct and trash. Correct and trash. And controller, that is very important to connect correctly this emulation channel. Because controller know that on the control signal, in the one moment is correct, and the second one is the trash. Dakle, na... na kontrolnoj žici, uvijek imamo dva signala, imamo pravilna signal i imamo takozvani šum, povješan signal. I kontroler očekuje i zna da će uvijek poslije pravilnog signala pojaviti se drugi nepravilni šum, dakle koji će ignorsati. So, this one is correct signal, correct signal, correct signal, we should to cut it. Or is that trash? Kako vam izgleda ovaj signal? This is control or this is plus? How do you think? Da li je plus ili control na žici? This one is the plus signal. Always plus look more or less the same. Ovo je, dakle, signal na pozitivno žici. And we don't cut it. I on uvijek izgleda otprilike ovako isto i njega ne sjećam. Remember. When you will see this signal, don't cut this signal, because if you make emulation on this wire with this signal, system will work, but will work like not good, let's say. Moramo, moramo zapamti da na žici na kojoj vidimo ovakav signal, nju ne sjećamo i ne emuliramo, jer ako sjećamo takve žice emuliramo, sistem će raditi, ali neće raditi kako treba. Next one. Hereći signal. Yellow signal. How do you think? It's correct signal? Kako vam izgleda? This is control or plus two. Da li je pravila? Challenge of the day. Napojni ili control signal? This one is the control signal. Correct signal. Correct wire. Ovo je pravilan control signal. Dakle, na pravo žic koji treba da se treba. It's the sample. 
control signal in 95% of cases look like that. Ovo je uzorak i kontrolni signal u 95% slučajeva izgleda ovako. And if you want to convert the car, some car extra out of the list, you should to connect oscilloscope, record this type of signal and send to us or send to our distributor and they send to us, we'll check that this signal is correct, that we can try to convert it. Dakle, ukoliko želimo da pokušamo graditi plin na neko auto koje nije na zvaničnoj listi, uvijek trebamo snimiti ove signale, poslati njima u stak, dakle, da li direktno, da li preko distributera, da oni provjere, da izmjeri te signale, da provjere da li uopšte da se upuštamo u tu gradu. And next one. Now you should to know. Sad bi trebali znati. What do you see here? Što vidimo ovdje? Control or plus? Wake up, wake up, guys. Ute se. Control. It's a control. Control signal. Ali je podrešena pet volti, pa onda stres. Negative control signal is good signal. And how to check that injector works in pair? When you have four cylinder engine, it's very easy because have four cylinders and pair always work like that. First with the last one, the fourth one, and the second with the third one. Dakle, kako provjeriti parove napajanja injektora, dakle, vrlo jednostavno kad su četiri cilindra u pitanju, uvijek je prvi sa četvrtim paru, drugi sa trećim. It's easy, very easy, but when you have six cylinder engine, it's necessary to determine and check. Dakle, ukoliko imamo motor sa šest cilindara, veoma je bitno da odredimo tačno parove da prepoznamo parove. And pair you can check by using multimeter, because the power supply always the same going power supply to Parove možemo provjeriti pomoću multimetra jer uvijek isto napajanje ide na par injektora. But confirm that you need to have oscilloscope. Ali da bi to potvrdili, moramo imati oscilloscope. For example, it's a sample. First cylinder and fourth cylinder. It's a time. When on the first you have the signal, control signal, on the cylinder number four you will see the power supply. And reverse. Dakle, ovdje imamo primjer. Kada na plava, plavi signal je sa prvog injektora, žuti je sa, sa četvrtog. Dakle, u istom trenutku kada imamo pravi signal na prvom injektoru, na četvrtom se u istom trenutku pojaviti lažni signal. I obratno, kada je na četvrtom pravi, na prvom je lažni signal. I repeat one more time. It's extra case when you want to do something extra. Još jedno ću ponoviti, ovo je samo u slučaju kada radimo motor koji nema zvančnoj listi. Okay, questions, questions. I suppose somebody has the question. I suppose we should get him, them, sorry, 50 milliliters good drink and everybody will be more happy and more passionate. Okay. Uh, this is, there's one question. Yes? How often do you convert direct engines in Poland? How often is it to... Uh, how often? How many percentage it is in Poland? Really, I don't know. But my job in AC company now is only direct. People doesn't call with, uh, Marek, I have the problem with Punex, I have the problem with Gofas. Nobody calls because everybody knows how to do it, how to convert, how to adjust because easy system. Only directors. We have, now we have the call. I suppose, I don't know how many percent, but a lot. Alo. Dakle, pitanje je bilo koliko, koliko često se ugrađuje plin na direktne motore u Poljskoj, jel' kolege? Uh, Marek ne zna tačan procenat, ali zna da je to mnogo jer njegov posao tehnička podrška i kaže da sva pitanja koja dobiva vezana za tehničku podršku su vezana za direktne motore. Dakle, ovi klasični su manje više ispričana priča i svi znaju. <laughs> main mistake during conversion is this one emulation make the emulation a lot of mistake people can to make reverse emulation make the channel change the channels cut the plus not signal a lot of this type of mistake if you try to do it some extra card focus on that think what you are doing and it will be okay 
Dakle, najčešće greške kod konverzije ovakvih motora su upravo u samoj emulaciji, da li se zamijene žice ili zamijene kanale, dakle, raspored emulacije ili se presijeku pogrešne napojene žice. Znači, najčešći problem je vedan za emulaciju. Any questions? Pitanja. Ok. Okay. Could you, sorry, could you provide us this presentation for reference? Do you want this presentation? Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you. I will give him and he will give you. Okay? Yeah, and I will find out how to... Or if you have the memory drive, I can give you okay, later. Thank you. No problem. Okay. We said, I'm said, that we can convert some engines, extra <coughs> engines, but exist one case where this where when it is forbidden, let's say, because some of the engine has NOx probe. And system NOx in the car <coughs> disturb during the drive on LPG. And now I will tell you why. Rekli smo kao ranije da imamo dakle podržane, podržano dosta motora koji nisu na listi, dakle ovo slagano motor do 2011. godine u slučaju samo isključivo kada ne imaju NOx katalizatore na NOx sondu. A sad ćemo objasniti zašto. NOx katalist. Okay. Uh, when car has NOx catalyst, the engine works with some strange strategy to save the environment, to increase ecology and blah 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 because it's bullshit. It doesn't work well because this engine make a lot of carbon and more, in my opinion, of course. And when car has NOx catalyst in this area, like you see here, the power of the engine is controlled not by the not by the throttle, not acceleration, but is controlled by the EGR and exhaust gas. All exhaust gas going back to the manifold section. Dakle, zbog čega je ovo bitno, zbog čega imamo problem vozila sa, sa NOx, katalizatorom NOx sondom u ovom polju koje je prikazano, dakle, zbog ekologije, zbog, zbog smanjenja emisije zdunih gasova, snaga motora nije u tom režimu, nije kontrolisana pomoću platne gasa, leptira gasa, nego pomoću EGR sistema. And this moment when car unit activate and disactivate each air system to control the power of the engine by using exhaust gas make a lot of problem because in this area we feel the vibration on the engine. Dakle, kada, u trenutku kada se rješavaju promjene, kada sistem otvara, zatvara EGR sistem, u tim prijelazima rješavaju se problemi, rješava se trzanje, rješava se... And my colleague know <laughs> some... Naši solution illegal of course solution <laughs> for that you can't do it but dakle postoji rješenje za ovo kao i za sve na Balkanu ali uh, ko što ukidamo DPF ove tako možemo eno X katalizator s onda ukinuti softverski uh, evo to će bez problema i bez problema da možemo bez problema ugraditi ali nemojte but if, guys listen me if somebody will do it this illegal procedure must do it good, well, because I saw a couple of times that somebody removed from the petrol unit strategy on NOx catalyst, but not in 100%. And the system works in the background and still it was some mistakes. Dakle, veoma je bitno, ako radimo softversku ukidanje, da se to uradi pravilno, da se uradi vrhunski, jer dešavali se slučaje gdje se ne uradi 100% kako treba i sistem i dalje ima probleme. Ima tu kolega koji su imali smisla. Ok, and it looks, you see how looks valves and the manifold section inside when we have very restricted EGR system strategy. It's not only with car with NOx catalyst. You can find this carbon in big engine 3.2, 4.2. Dakle, možemo vidjeti kako izgleda us s jednog takvog motora koliko je puno radi EGR sistem. Dakle, ne samo kod motora koji imaju NOx senzor, nego i kod velikih motora, velikih kulkaža. Like a diesel engine. Potpuno isto kao diesel. I have the question now. 
Does somebody remove the manifold when converted the direct system? Dakle, da li je pitanje, da li je neko od vas skidao uskom granu prilikom gradnje plina na ovakav motor sa direktnim ubrizgavanjem? Nobody? No, no, no. This guy? What you saw there in the manifold? Šta si vidio? Ništa dobro. Nothing good. Nothing good, I understand. Ok, people, listen to me. If you have quite new car, you want to convert direct quite new car, let's say, till 100,000 km. You can drill the manifold without remove the manifold because this uh, carbon it's not so uh, fat inside. You know, it's not so a lot, a lot of carbon inside. But when you have old engine which has 300,000 km, a lot of millage, always you must have in your mind that inside in manifold you have some dust. When you drill and some carbon will fall down below the valves. Dakle, imati na umu, dakle, nije problem ukoliko radim ovu gradnju na vozlu koji ima do 100.000 km, jer tu nastave karbona nisu tako ne vele. Međutim, ako imamo motor sa velikom kilometražom, uvijek moramo imati na umu kada bušimo usis, da su ispod debele nastave karbona i postoji mogućnost da se nešto od toga odvali, da upadne i pod ventile, da napravimo štetu. Preporuka je uvijek da se skida grana. Da se ne radi ti otruši. And what is good after conversion? Excuse me, please, quiet. What is good after conversion? When we put the nozzle in the manifold and we start inject LPG, LPG will start wash the valves. We start clean this manifold. Dakle, šta je dobro poslije u gradnji? Dakle, kada smo postavili clean skinjetor, Plin, sam plin će postepeno otapati i čistiti ove naslage. Not like pure petrol, but it starts to clean. Ne u tom nivou kao čisti benzin, ali ima neki jedbeka čišćenja. Other things. Ok, tell me, how do you think? All LPG, all LPG type injector are suitable for direct system? Dakle, šta mislite, da li su sve vrste plinskih injektora dobre za ove sisteme direktno u izgledanju? No. And this one for the direct is ok? How do you think? Šta mislite, da li je ovaj injektor dobar za direktno u izgledanju? No, this one is too slow, it's too slow. The open and close time is very slow and the gap between good cold is very huge. Nije, nije pogodan za ovi za sisteme, jer ima veoma, veoma velika vremena otvaranja za otvaranja. Please forget about bad injectors when you want to convert the diode. We recommend to use our injector, W02, W03, W031, because we know that this injector works very well. You, if you want, you can use different type, but this different type must be very good very repeatable and very fast. Dakle, naša je preporuka da se koriste, naravno, naši injektor je V02, V03, V031, međutim, nije isključio, možete koristiti injektore drugih brendova, ali je veoma bitno da budu veoma brzi, veoma brzi injektore. In Poland, in our country, we have strategy. If somebody call us and tell me, Marek, I have the problem with direct system, something doesn't work. My first question, what kind of injector do you have? Barakuda, let's say. It's your problem. Change injector and call me back. Not support. If somebody using different type of injector, not our, we not support them. Dakle, pravilo kod njima je tehničke podrške, kada neko nam zove, prvo pitanje kakve injektore koriste. Ako nisu njihovi injektori, dakle, ne podržavaju, ne pružaju tehničku podršku, dok se ne postave njihovi injektori. Because we know with our injector this system works well, very well. And ACW02, okay, we see on the screen. Okay, how to adjust the car and fuel trims? What it is? What it is? Everybody know? What does it mean, fuel trim? Da li svi znamo šta su fuel trimove? Znamo, but everybody? Svi. 
If somebody doesn't know what this means, fuel trims, and this information is like some information from the space, this information for you. If you know, don't know how to adjust the car by using fuel trims, you can't convert the direct system because no, direct is con uh, con uh, adjusted only by using trims. Ako mi ovo ne poznam, to je koliko ima neko ko ne, ne zna šta su fuel trimovi, kako se podešava vozlo pomoć fuel trimova, ako mi ovo podatak i sve mi radili, uh, bolje da ne radi ovako i vrste konverzije. In this system we have something like multiplier, like in the Q-Box go fast, we have this, but we don't have the graph blue and yellow line with the maps. Doesn't exist something like that. Možete sličan kao na običnim sistema Q-Boxu na go fastu, ali ne imamo grafičkih prikaz, onaj mape na koji su mnogi navijeni. Okay, it not must be information from the space. Okay. I will not focus on the very easy option like to adjust the type of the car, the RPM signal because it doesn't make sense and we don't have time. And what is important? This, what we see here, an oxygen sensor, it's a very important information. And like I said before, a car with direct system works with extra injection, two, three, even four per one uh, circuit of the work of the engine. And sometimes, when you drive after conversion, you have adjusted the car correctly, let's say. Trims work okay, working nearly to zero, everything is fine. But you have situation that you see this window start blinking on the yellow. In the moment when it starts blinking on the yellow, you feel some shaking. Dakle, ponekada, nekada ćemo imati situaciju da kada smo gradili sve podesili, trimovi su manje više blizu nule i sve uredno, u toku vožnje nam ovo polje sa dijelizijsko obrzgavanje po žuti počne da blinka žuto i osjetimo problem sa trzanjem. Šta to znači? And smin, when the car has extra injection, one extra, two extra or three extra, we don't know how many of them, but has, engine has to reach or to pull mixture. Dakle, to znači da kada se dešava ekstra obrzgavanje, u tom trenutku motor ima ili prebogatu ili presiromačnu smjesu. And you can check it only here. To možemo provjeriti samo pomoću filtrimova. And for example, you are driving by car, 80 km per hour, you press acceleration a little bit, this window start blinking and you feel vibration. And immediately you should observe short term, how it works short term. Primjer, vozimo, podesili smo auto, vozimo s 80 km na nas, ali počnemo lagano da obrzavamo. Ovo polje počne da blinka žuto, istog trenutka trebamo vidjeti šta je, dakle kakav je short fuel trim, šta se dešava tu. Observe them and you see minus 25. Promatamo i kažemo, vidimo da je tu minus 20% short fuel trim. To znači da je smjesa prebogata. And you should try to adjust this mixture by using this option. Smjesu podešavamo pomoću, pomoću, pomoću ovog slajdera. Dakle, da li u minus ili u plus. Dakle, ako vidimo u plusu, slajder pomjeramo desno dok ga ne dovedemo blizu nulu. Ili ako u minusu, slajder ide lijevo. Mnogo puta možemo takve probleme riješiti korištenjem ove opcije. Parametar trima će ostati tu, za te parametre motora neće se promijeniti sve ukupno na mapu, u smislu na niži broj obrtaja. Ne, ne, ovaj stade radi samo za ekstra obrzgavanje. Samo u trenutku kada se rešava ekstra obrzgavanje. Questions now? Pitanja. No questions, ok. And now we have standard situation. Not signal, not trash, not something. We converted the car from the list. 
after when we adjust all uh, information, engine type, uh, RPM, all of them, we should go to auto calibration map, press start, and choose which engine code want, <laughs> we want to convert to the standard parameter. Idemo na auto kalibraciju, pritisnemo start, izađe na prozor u kojem moramo odabrati tačan motor koji smo koji imamo s kojim radimo. And after calibration we must take the car on the road and check everything that system was correct. Po kalibraciji, dakle, only by using this. I provedimo da li sve radi kako treba, isključivo korištenjem, promatranjem filtrinova. Šta se to? You can use the standard multiplier, 1D match, like in the Q-box. You can use this. But this one, 2D, is more sensitive. And I prefer to use this one. Yeah, but the multiplier is more sensitive. This is the one that we use in the Q-box. Here, it's very easy to adjust. It's not necessary to adjust every single point, adjust your drive, some in this area that the cursor will be work here and adjust this point and after that here and after here and here. No, don't do that. Like it doesn't make sense. Just yeah. Just Six modes. You have six modes. Four 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 Low RPM, low load, you should to mark dakle, this niski, area. Niski obrtaj, mal, malo trećenje, ovo Drive polje. Drive this area and check what's going on. U tom trims. polju vozimo i pratimo šta se dešava sa trimona. When trims work like on the gasoline, you mark the next one. Here, Ako je sve isto kao na benzinu, selektujemo sljedeće polje, vozimo u tom režimu i podešavamo. The same with the maximum load with low, low RPM, maximum. Isto je sa svi. Low load, high RPM, high RPM, middle load. Dakle, visoko, visoki, visoko opterećenje, niski obrtaj, visoki obrtaj, malo opterećenje, srednje opterećenje. And of course, maximum load, maximum RPM. Naravno. When you have maximum load, maximum RPM, you should to observe. Šesto polje u maksimalnom opterećenju, maksimalnim obrtajima, neće nam pomoć pilu trimove, tu moramo kratiti parametar lambda sonti. Time for you. Questions. Vaše vrijeme, pitanja. Što su boje? Boje, colors. Colors. It's top secret. In school, all of us saw the map. Earth map, some map with mountains. Mountains I read when you have some very low arise, green or blue. It's the same. This is view. Only the view. Means it's three-dimensional. It's three-dimensional. It's a high area where there's a lot of gas, 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 there's a lot of gas. You will see when you are working. You will see when you are working. This is just a visual proof for the best way. One thing, I forgot to put this uh, information information here on this uh, presentation about the sequential change the sequential order like yeah, like in a Q controller Q box you can change sequential because sometimes when everything will be adjusted correctly this window not blinking on the yellow and during acceleration you can feel some Dakle, jedna stvar, jedna stvar koju on zaboravio ubaciti na ovu prezentaciju je nova opcija koja je ubačena na ovaj kontrolere za zamjenu sekvencije ubrizgavanja plinskih injektora. Kao što imamo kod, kod standardnih sistema u Q generaciji i Go Fast. Jer nekad će nam se desiti da uh, imamo, imamo problem, dakle, uh, nemamo ekstra ubrizgavanja u polje, nije žuta, a prilikom ubrzavanja imamo trzanje. U tom slučaju, dakle, radimo, radimo izmjenu sekvencije za 180 ili 1075. Dakle, kao, kao što imamo kod standardnih sistema. If car has some problems, just play with that. Check, advance 90 degrees, car 30 degrees. Ako se možemo poigrati da, da dobijemo 
You don't need to think how to do it, just press the option increase and that's all. I'm going to think that I have an option for the for the for the for the for the And one more important thing I forgot to tell you. If you will see here petrol time and you will see situation that you have petrol time like here and immediately this time disappear. You will see zero and turn back. You have the time, here disappear is zero. And turn back. And this one disappear and turn back. It's mean you make somebody make somebody did mistake with the emulation. <coughs> Dakle, još jedna situacija koja nam se može desiti je da promatramo benzinsko obrezgavanje. Sve radi normalno i jednom izgubimo jedan njektor, pojavi se nula, pa na drugom njektoru. Na treći, to je u 99% situacije da je neko napravio grešku prije od formulacije, dakle da nisu dobro povijeli za nježnici. The next one, when engine works on idle speed and engine is hot, has already 90 degree, this here should be gray, like here. Can't blink on the yellow. In 90-90% of case, any cars doesn't have any extra injection on idle speed. And this window can't blink on the yellow. If you will see situation that this window is blinking on the yellow, on idle speed, it's information. Probably something is wrong with emulation. Maybe I cut the plus signal, not minus. Na 90 stepeni, auto radi na ledu, dakle na štagasu, ovo polje sa benzinim tijekara mora biti sivo. Koliko imamo bilo kako blinkanje, 99% auta nema ekstra obrizgavanje kada je ugrijano na ledu, dakle ukoliko imamo žuto blinkanje, sigurno je greška u emulaciji u povezivanju. Ok, I suppose that was the most important thing uh, think what you should to know about the system, the main focus on the system. And now it's time for you. If you have okay. any question, you have me now. Dakle, ovo je bilo po njemu najbitnije što je trebalo da se izvoji ovim sistema, najbitnije što treba da znate. Sad je vrijeme za vas ukoliko imate pitanja. I'm working with LPG two months and I have a lot of knowledge. <laughs> That's job. <laughs> People, come on. Any question? What? Uh, yes, for petrol consumption during during the LPG, does it consume petrol? Yes, consume. Yes. What is the percentage? It's difficult to occur because this system works like that. If customer driving only in city center on the short road, 5-6 kilometers, this consumption will be quite high, 3-3.5 liters. But when he's driving on the highway, this consumption can be 1.5 liters. Dakle, teško je dati tačan procenat jer ovaj sistem radi radi drugačije, ukoliko recimo kupac koji je ugradio flin vozi isključivo u gradu, imat će veoma veliko potrošnje benzina. Čak i do 3,5-4 litra za motor sa 4 litra. Međutim, na otvorenom putu, na autoputu, ta potrošnja benzina drastično pada čak i na 1,1,5 litra. Pitanje za Sarkovića. Pitanje za Sarkovića. And it's okay. Which one? No mathematics. No mathematics. No mathematics. You can tell them if they will convert the current consumption will be too high. You can make some set of equations. Kako ukoliko imamo koliko se kupac želi na preveliku potrošnju benzina poslije u gradnji, dakle postoji opcija da se, da se snime mape, snime se parametri, pošalju njima da oni smanje vozu benzina. Koliko je moguće? 
About less consumption uh, when you have the system 400 dpi, I heard once that some customer was removed the fuse from the pump. <laughs> but it doesn't work well. <laughs> this 500. It will be in future. I can you tell now. I can tell when. I can tell because I don't know exactly. Use your language. Some cars which are not crave, good name which are not crave. I have a lot of people who are not crave. I have a lot of people who are not crave. I have a lot of people who are not crave. If that's all, people, thank you for your attention. It was the pleasure to be here with you.